Okay, so we're going to look at today finding the general rule of a linear pattern. We've met this term before, linear pattern, but we will just revise it. In front of me here, I have a sequence of numbers, 6, 10, 14, and 18. I refer to 6 as term 1, and if I have a look at it, I can see that there is the same difference within each of the terms, or within each of the number sequence, and it is a plus 4. Plus 4, and plus 4. So a linear pattern is a sequence of numbers whose common difference, so CD, is the same or constant. In a linear pattern or sequence, the difference or the change between one term and the next is always the same number, and we refer to that as a constant, the same value. So 6, 10, 14, 18. If I was to recall 6, its term, it would be term 1. 10, term 2, 14 is term 3, and 18 would be term 4. Now, if I asked you to find for me term 5, because we know the common difference of the CD is plus 4, It'd be quite easy to spot that term 5 is 22, and term 6 would be, say, 26. But the problem would be if I asked you, OK, can you tell me term 58? OK, so yes, we could keep adding on 4 until we get to term 58, but in maths, we would like to be able to come up with a rule that would help me figure out exactly how to find term 58 and term 558 if I wanted. Okay, so what we're looking at today is we are looking at finding the gen general term. And the general term is another word for finding the rule of this number sequence. Okay, so now that we know what we're looking to do, let's learn the method. If I'm looking to find the rule, I am looking to find term n, where n can be any number I want it to be. So when you're given a sequence, you can immediately find term 1. So say if I'm given the sequence 2, 6, 10, 14, I can immediately find term 1, find term 2. It's possible I've already been told term 3. In this case, I already know term 4. But if I can find term n, it means I can find whatever term I want. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for t to the n, which is the general term of a sequence, and it can be used to find the value of any term. OK, so we're faced with our first example here, and the question says, find the general term, or we could say the rule, for the following linear sequence, and hence, which means once you've done that, find the 50th term. Okay, so let's just first of all make sure it is a linear sequence. I've got the numbers 2, 7, 12, 17, and my start term is number 2. That's important, I'm going to need that. And I'm also going to need my common difference. So my common difference in this case is plus five. Seven to 12 is again plus five. And 12 to 17 is plus five. So I can conclude that yes, this is a linear sequence. It's got the same common difference. And my common difference is plus five. So step one in finding the rule for any general sequence or any linear sequence, you must find number one, the start term, and number two, the common difference. So that is step one always. My next step is to lay out a table that will help me figure out the rule of this sequence. Okay, and this is how all of our tables must be laid out. They must consist of four columns. The first one is term number. The second one is CD, which stands for common difference multiplied by term number. And the last one is term value. I'm going to show you what you do with this middle column later on. 
So I'm going to fill in, first of all, the term numbers. And so the term number I'm going to fill in, first of all, will be term 1, term 2, and term 3. The term I'm looking for at the end is term n. But what I'm hoping is if I can figure out the rule that happens with term 1, 2, and 3, I can then just apply that rule to term n. The term value is the next column that we fill in. And so here we just say, what exactly is term 1? And in this instance, term 1 is number 2. Term 2 is number 7. And term 3 is number 12. OK. Within this column here, I'm going to leave this bit blank because I don't know what term n is yet. Term 1, we now move into the second column, which is CD multiplied by term number. And the CD stands for common difference. And the common difference we figured out in this sequence here is plus 5. So it's the common difference multiplied by the term number, which in this case is 1. So it will be 5 multiplied by 1. And my answer here is 5. Here I will have 5 multiplied by the term number, which in this case is 2. And the answer will be 10. And here I will have 5 multiplied by term 3, which is the term number of 3, which is 15. OK, I now apply this method to the last section here, which is t to the n. So it is the common difference, which is 5 multiplied by the term number, which in this case is n. And 5 multiplied by n is the same as 5n. OK, so that bit there is really important. OK, I now go up to this section here, this column, and I'm going to try and figure out, well, what did I do to this 5 to get a 2? And the answer is, I, well, I subtracted 3. What did I do to this 10 to get a 7? And the answer is again, I subtracted 3. And the 15 to get a 12, I subtracted 3. So if it was 5n, what would I be doing here? I would be subtracting 3. And this here, guys, is super important because this is the rule for whatever term you want to find. It is 5n minus 3. So, I found the general term or the rule for this sequence. Whatever number I'm looking for, whatever term I'm looking for, I just use this formula, 5n minus 3. So I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, give myself a little bit more room. The question up at the top here said, Find the general term. To find the general term, step one, I find the start term and the common difference. And step two is I lay my table out and fill it in correctly. What you should be left with at this point is your general rule, which is this bit here, 5n minus 3. That's going to help me find whatever term I wanted. So term one, term two, term three, term four, I can find them all using this general rule. And in this case, the question asked me to find the 50th term. So what I am looking for here, first years, is term 50. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, so I have a little bit more room to play around with. Okay, so as I said, I'm looking for term 50. I know that term n, the nth term from my table, is 5n plus, sorry, 5n minus 3. That is my general rule. If I am looking for term 50, I am now going to write, well, term 50 must be equal to 5 times 50 minus 3. Remember, n stood for whatever term I was looking for. So the 
question here is asking me to find term 50. So now instead of writing n, I'll write 50. But you can see here that there's no plus, there's no minus in between these, which means that this is attached or together, and it means it's 5 times 50 minus 3. And 5 times 50 is going to give me 225 minus 3. So the number that is term 50 in this sequence that started off as 2, 7, 12, the 50th term here is 225. So there's a lot to take in there. Best thing you can do first years is to follow the simple steps. So step one here is you are finding your start term and your common difference, really important. Step two, you draw your table and complete. You must learn these headings off by heart and be able to draw them. That will help you figure out this bottom one here, which is t to the n, which is our general rule. Once we've figured out the general rule, I can find term 50 by substituting in. I can find term 550 because the rule does not change for this number sequence.